Hey guys, this is Satya. I hope you all are doing well today. Today in our Excel tips, we are going to learn about a new function called round. Now let's see what is this round function. What does it do? This function rounds a number to a specified amount of odd decimal places. If 0 is used, the number is rounded to the nearest whole number. If a negative amount of rounding is used, the figures to the left of the decimal point are rounded. And the syntax for the same would be is equal to round open bracket number to round comma decimal places to use. Now let's see how to use this particular function. I am taking a sample data wherein in one column I am mentioning the numbers and, and, in, and in the other column I am mentioning the places to round that is do you want a round of 0 or round of 1, 2 or a negative values. So now let's see how do I use this particular function which is round and the function would be is equal to round open bracket select the number which you are trying to round off comma select the places of round close the bracket enter now if you do a copy paste you can identify that 1.47 is rounded to 1 which is the nearest round which is which is the nearest round of number and 1.47589 if it is given as 1 is rounded off to 1.5 which is 0.5 if it is 2 we are getting two two decimal points if we are giving 1 we are getting one decimal point if we are giving 0 there is zero decimal point in the same way if you are giving the negative values the round off would be going to a negative let's say for example here if you observe 13643 is the number and after that we have some decimal numbers as well if I am giving minus 1 that means it is taking 13640 so it is detecting that 3.47589 in that way if you are giving a decimal, decimal number which is a negative which is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 accordingly you will be getting the decimal numbers which are you know going less in terms of you know overall number so in this way you will be able to utilize the round function wherein if it is a normal manual data you can go ahead and do it manually by changing each and everything but if it is a huge data and if you want to go ahead and change the round off by using this particular format you can go ahead and use the round function which is very easy very easy to use and very you know time saving uh, option so thank you for watching this particular video guys hope you have learned about the round function and please do comment if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions for us and please subscribe for this particular video as well thank you so much